Hello, and welcome to this short video clip about astrophysics at Trinity. So let me introduce myself. My name is Brian Esby. I'm one of the lecturers here at Trinity, and I've been a practicing astrophysicist for some decades. I've worked with a number of ground-based facilities and also with space-based observatories, including the Hubble Space Telescope shown behind me. So what is astrophysics? Well, astrophysics is the application of our physics knowledge and ideas to the wider parts of the universe, the most distant parts, the, the most extreme parts. Uh, for instance, here behind me have examples of the power of gravity stripping galaxies apart, and also an image at the top right there showing a, a radio image down near the black hole in a galaxy nearby. And the artist's impression there also shows you that you can generate extreme highly energetic events from these vicinity of these black holes, and that's a phenomenon that I've studied in the past. So Ireland is lucky, we have access to facilities including the European Southern Observatory, and also we have domestic facilities including the low frequency array shown behind me, which is in Burr County, Offaly, and Trinity College is the leading partner in that observatory. There are other observatories as well, I've mentioned the uh, Hubble Space Telescope here, and also through the European Space Agency, we have uh, participation in the James Webb Space Telescope that's going to open up more of the universe to our view. And what's that going to do for us? Well, as we uh, look to fainter and fainter objects, we can probe to larger and larger distances. Because of the finite light travel time, of course, that means we're looking at older and older light, or conversely, that we're seeing the universe when it was much younger. So we're able to uh, study uh, the universe in the way of a cosmic time machine to actually look back and study things that happened before even the Earth or the Sun were born. So it gives us a great facility to actually apply our physics to the various earliest stages of the universe and to extreme environments, but also to learn something about the quality of our physics and whether it needs improvement. So for instance, part of this work in the distant universe and, and uh, into the even the nearby universe has led to discovery of dark matter, dark energy, and so on. That is challenging physicists. So what is involved in the astrophysics program at Trinity? Well, it involves entry through the general TR063 physics course, covering some of your basic physics with a little bit of an introduction to astrophysics in the first two years, and then the final two years are specialist uh, astrophysics courses become more part of the curriculum and it covers everything from exoplanets and, and the solar system to uh, how stars work, galaxies, uh, cosmology, as well as instrumentation that is needed to actually study the universe as a whole. So you'll learn physics and you'll also apply it to the universe in general. So it gives you a great grounding in physics but also in applications which would be useful to astrophysical research. But also along with that, as part of the requirement to actually deal with the data sets we have in astrophysics, you'll also learn quite a bit about computing and programming. So these are great skills all around that will actually enable you to go out into the wilder world, as well as actually do astrophysical research. All of our courses are accredited by the Institute of Physics, so anything a regular physicist can do can be done by one of our astrophysics graduates. It's just a cool way of learning about the universe. And with that, I'll pass you on to couple of my colleagues who tell you about their interests and work here at Trinity too. Thank you. Hi, I'm Neil Gibson, an astronomer and professor in the School of Physics. My research is primarily in the field of exoplanets. These are just planets that orbit stars other than our sun. And we use these to study the origins of our solar system as well as for uh, looking for life in the universe. Before joining Trinity, I was a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Oxford a research fellow at the European Southern Observatory, uh, who run the telescopes you can see in the background, um, as well as a lecturer at Queen's University Belfast. Hello, I'm Professor Kate McGuire, and I'm an astrophysicist working in the School of Physics at Trinity College Dublin. My research focuses on understanding some of the most explosive events in the universe. In particular, one major strand of my research is in understanding type 1a supernovae, which are a particular type of exploding star. And they've been essential for measuring distances in the universe and for the discovery of the mysterious quantity dark energy that we now know makes up approximately 70% of the mass energy of the universe, but whose origin remains unknown. 
The group is also actively involved in looking for unusual and strange transients in the universe uh, using state-of-the-art surveys. One particular aspect that I'm involved in is in the new field of gravitational wave counterparts and kilonovae, which are produced from the mergers of neutron stars in the distant universe. The group works on trying to find these objects very rapidly and then uh, model their properties with the aim of understanding the nucleosynthesis of heavy elements in the universe. Uh, I'm also passionate about uh, diversity and inclusion in STEM, and I really try and cultivate an international and diverse research group. <laughs>